Hello everyone, it's Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here. Welcome back to my channel, to another video and to Vlogtober. So today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I spent most of my Sunday in the kitchen preparing a Sunday roast, traditional British Sunday roast uh, for my family and me. After being sick for so many days and still not feeling great, I really wanted something delicious and that would fill me and my family. And what else could it be than a traditional English roast? Now, there's many ways of doing the roast. Here's what I'm doing. First of all, I'm prepping the veg. I'm going to be doing parsnips and carrots. And I usually do those with maple syrup olive oil, salt and pepper and roast them. They are so delicious. If you've never tried, you really should. And I'm also going to be making the traditional roasted potatoes with the roasted chicken. Yorkshire puddings could never fail as well as gravy. Now, usually I would make probably some steamed or boiled veg on the side as well, but we are going away tomorrow, so I really don't want to have loads of leftovers that we are not going to be able to eat before we go, so I kept it fairly simple. Now, I like parboiling the potatoes before putting them in to roast, and I just also like to add a stock cube. It flavors the potatoes like you would not believe, and it helps make the potatoes super, super tasty. So that's what I'm doing here, just getting it ready. I am gonna keep the chicken simple, just some salt on top. I did. Um, put some spray at the bottom of the roasting tray so nothing sticks to it and right here I'm just prepping the veg. I'm gonna use some paper towels because they were a little bit too wet and because there's going to be oil and stuff like that I prefer to just have them slightly drier and like I mentioned earlier salt, pepper, olive oil and maple syrup. Now, I don't know about you, but the big thing about the roast is the amount of washing up that you have to do even before you've eaten your dinner. I like doing it as I go along. I find it doesn't take as much time at the end trying to get everything ready when you have a full stomach. So the roast is in. I decided to make some muffins. These are white and dark chocolate muffins and blueberry muffins in it. The recipe link will be below. These turned out so, so good. I know traditionally, I don't know if you can really call them muffins because I think traditionally muffins have oil and not butter, but you have to try this recipe. This uh, lady, I think she's called Sophie, 
she does really good recipes I've had I've tried a couple I know that I use her waffle recipe and they are delicious so again it's a thermomix recipe but below if you keep looking through the instructions it will tell you what to do if you don't have a thermomix so it works for everyone and this was so good Alex absolutely loved them I am gonna make slightly different ones for Alex by basically not adding the blueberries because as you know no blueberries or any type of fruit for Alex but he really really loved them and what I'm gonna do with what I have left over I'm gonna take them with me tomorrow we are going by the way to our family to Paul's family down in Wiltshire spend a few days seeing that it is half term here and Alex is off school and um, we are going to spend a few days there and I'll be sure to vlog while I'm there and show you what I'm doing. So here I am just scooping the batter into the paper cases and I will be putting some blueberries on top and it, I, I can cannot tell you how delicious it is. Another recipe for you to give a try. I'm using frozen blueberries and they worked really well. Some of them were still sort of not burst, if you know what I mean. If you use normal blueberries, they tend to burst. So they were still kind of full and delicious in the muffins. There you go, ready to go in the oven. And guess what? more washing up to do. Now it's time to make the Yorkshire puddings. I'm just using the Thermomix to weigh all the different ingredients, but I'm actually going to mix it by hand. Um, but it's very straightforward. There's so many recipes online. Okay, so now I'm going to put a little bit of oil in the tin as you are seeing and I'm going to put that in the oven for about 15 minutes so the oil gets really hot. Now that the muffins are done, you can see them in the background, I'll show them again in a minute and um, that will make them ready for the Yorkshire puddings. The muffins turned out so gorgeous and so delicious. Now that the tin has been in for 15 minutes, I am just going to pour the batter into the different muffin holes and I just like putting it in a jug so it's easier to pour and you know it's ready when the batter hits the oil and it makes a sizzly sound. This recipe never never fails. I mean look at that gorgeous or what 
ready to be served and ready for me to say goodbye. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.